This is Delhi, usually a bustling and vibrant city which has been my home for more than a decade. But I can hardly recognize it now. Just look at the lines of ambulances. That's the scene so common outside any hospital you go. It has the look of a city under siege. Anyone you speak to has lost a family member or a friend to COVID or knows somebody who has. We are all helpless. I'm really sorry. We can only just bring the stories. We'll go and check it out. Okay. And it's just not Delhi. Several Indian towns, cities and villages are witnessing similar scenes. It seems the city's very existence is now limited to four places. Hospitals, medicine stores, oxygen refilling stations and crematoriums. We are going to go to four such places in the city today. But our very first stop is GTB Hospital in Delhi. Families here are constantly bringing in patients and it shows the wave is not slowing down in Delhi. Some of them are able to get a bed, but the most sick ones, they have to be taken to from one hospital to another because the city ran out of ICU beds at least two weeks ago. And the scene inside such hospitals are even more heartbreaking. <laughs> वहां पर गेट पर से ही लगा दिया कहे कि नहीं देंगे यहां पर आया थे यहां पर केवल कोरोना टेस्ट हुआ था उसके बाद जो है दवा तक भी नहीं लिखा उन्होंने कई कितनी बार बोला कि दवा वहां से यहां यहां से वहां कम से कम 2 घंटे तक घुमाता रहे यहां पर The visuals you are seeing are from a hospital in Gurugram it ran out of oxygen and the hospital staff abandoned the patient. At least six patients died, devastating the families. The second wave has touched everyone. Most people are spending their days trying to find a hospital bed. An oxygen cylinder, medicines, and even a slot at a crematorium. Sometimes the search is for a loved one or a family member, but often for people you have never even met. Social media platforms are flooded with SOS messages from people looking for a bed or medicine and it just shows the devastation COVID is causing. And it also shows how underprepared the country's healthcare infrastructure was to deal with the surge. Sometimes you are able to help people, but often you are not. So many people have stories of sheer helplessness, of not being able to find a bed for a sick person, and then later learning about his or her death. I too have a similar story when I couldn't find a ventilator bed for a loved one and he died. Yeah. Our second stop is an oxygen refilling station. When families can't find a hospital bed, they look to procure one such oxygen cylinder to help their patients keep breathing. But even getting one cylinder is a difficult task. So many people here have been standing for five to six hours to get a cylinder. But there's no guarantee that they will get one. Hey, 
भैया रेमडेसिविर मिल जाएगी क्या रेमडेसिविर रेमडेसिविर सो वी आर नाउ आउट साइड वन ऑफ द बिजिएस्ट मेडिसिन मार्केट्स इन दिल्ली मेडिसिन लाइक रेमडेसिविर एंड टोसिली जुमैप आर नॉट अवेलेबल हेयर वैन फैमिलीज गेट टायर्ड ऑफ गोइंग फ्रॉम वन शॉप टू दी अदर दे टर्न टू द ब्लैक मार्केट वेयर दे हैव टू पे एक्सॉर्बिटेंट अमाउंट फॉर दीज ड्रग्स एंड इट्स कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल डिस्ट्रेस टू फैमिलीज हु कैन नॉट अफोर्ड सच हाई प्राइसिस Our final stop is this crematorium in Delhi. This one and so many others saw long queues in the past 2 3 weeks. I remember a friend sending me a text and asking if I had a contact in a crematorium because he could not get his aunt cremated who had died of covid. It was the most heartbreaking text I have ever received. Another friend told me that his father was cremated along with 20 other bodies and he just did not know which pyre to look at to say his final goodbye. As he put it There was no dignity even after death. यहाँ पे लगा लीजिए कि जिंदा तो छोड़िए कि लेकिन मरने के बाद भी लोग यहाँ पर सही से मतलब उनके विचारों की क्रिया भी सही से नहीं हो पा रही है क्योंकि क्या करें पंडित भी यहाँ पे चार पांच लोग हैं वो कितना संभालेंगे सबको और आप देख ही रहे हैं कि यहाँ पे डेड बॉडी इतने लगाने के बाद में भी अभी वेटिंग में भी है और एम्बुलेंसों के अंदर भरी रही है Such devastation has raised so many questions. and the most important one is why more was not done to manage this surge why even after 2 weeks people are still struggling to find the bed medicines and oxygen for my friend and many like him it will take a long time before they can call delhi their home again and the scars this wave has left may never heal